Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a moving garage door. To start off with, start the sketch on the front plane, create a rectangle, dimension this rectangle to let's say two and a half meters, make it 40 centimeters, extrude this to say 10 centimeters create a second sketch on the front face make this normal too create a second sketch make it a second rectangle make a center rectangle select this edge right click on it select midpoint and then what we are going to do we are going to control select this midpoint of the rectangle and we're going to make a vertical relationship between these two then we're going to dimension this rectangle make it let's say 10 centimeters 35 centimeters and set the height to say 10 centimeters and then just simply make an extruder cut make it 5 centimeters and then last but not least add a fillet make it 50 or something like that would look great and uh, this is actually going to be used as our handle so what we're going to do next we are going to create a configuration for this this is located under the configuration manager so right click part add configuration name it handle select the default configuration by double clicking it and suppress the extruded cut feature. Next up, we are going to start an empty assembly. And we're gonna start a sketch on the white plane. We're gonna draw a profile. This is going to be used as our path later on. So simply draw it something like this. Dimension it to let's say two meters, nine hundred, and let's say two meters there too. And to fully define this, just dimension these two points. Just hit accept there. Next off, we're gonna, going to create a fit spline. This is located under Tools, Sketch, no, Spline Tools, Fit Spline. Then we're going to draw a line between this point and this point and just simply trim away this this is created because we want to have a single line next off we, we are going to import our parts just simply put out let's say five of them two three four five oh and then you simply select the bottom one and uh, hit handle configuration I'm gonna turn them over so they Oh, I uh, 
forgot to make this float because now it's simply fixed in there like that let's turn all the right way next off we are going to mate all these pieces together make them coincident do the same with the following And we are going to create an ultimate to align this all pieces together. Control select all of them. Then we're going to hit the mate command. And then, we, as you can see, it will align together. Next off, we're going to mate one of the faces parallel to the right plane and least but not last I'm gonna mate all the edges to the spline make them coincident Take some time getting used to. Something like this. And to add realism, we're going to add some appearance to this. gonna make it yeah I think make it wood just take whatever you've seen deem worthy I'm gonna take a polish ash 2d and add it to the rest of the assembly and then we can just test it off by dragging it up and down as you can see it will follow the curve we drawn earlier however keep in mind if you move it back and forth and move it to the end of the spline it will somehow mess up the assembly sometimes something like that just hit control seat and it will correct itself hopefully this is Michael Tallinn thank you for watching